what's up guys so in the previous video i explained you how to add a node at the beginning of a linked list and i created this add back function for it and in this video i am going to explain you how to add a node at the end of a linked list now when a node is added at the end of a linked list then that node becomes the last node in the list and two things needs to be done. The first thing is that link part of this node needs to be null because the link part of the last node should always be null. And the second thing is that this node is the second last node in this list. And the link part of this node should now store the address of its next node, which is this. And suppose the address of its of this node is 1009 so this node now stores the address of its next node and a node has been added at the end of the list first declare the function to add a node at the end and the name of my function is add at end and it takes two arguments Now this printf statement will just display a message to the user that enter 3 to add a node at the end. Now I need to create case 3. Now this printf statement will just display a message to the user and this canf statement will allow the user to enter a number. This is the function call. This added end function will be called with two values. This function takes two arguments. So everything is done in the main function, and now I am going to create the add at end function to add nodes at the end of a linked list. Now, here I have declared two pointer variables of type struct node. And as I told you in my previous video that nodes are created with the help of malloc function and this is the format of the malloc function pointer variable data type name of the function and here data type is struct node and pointer variable is temp malloc function allocates memory for a node and it returns the address of that memory location so that address is the address of the new node and that address is assigned to pointer variable and here pointer variable is temp so in simple words temp will store the address of the new node that will be created now the value of num will be entered by the user using this scanf statement and with this function call num will be passed in this function into this function and num here will be initialized with the value of num entered by the user now suppose the value of num is 25 entered by the user now let's say the address of the new node is 1002 so temp will store 1002 which is the address of the new node so temp arrow operator info means info part of this node so 25 will be assigned to temp arrow operator info which means info part of this node so 25 will go here so with the help of this statement a number entered by the user will be stored in the info part of the new node now this arrow operator is a combination of hyphen sign and greater than symbol and this arrow operator can be used to access any part of the node whether it's info part or link part so in other words arrow operator is used to access members of the structure using a pointer info and link are members of the structure and temp is a pointer this is the new node which is created and now i need to add this node at the end of the link list and remember there should be at least one node in the link list if you want to add a node at the end of the list you cannot add a new node at the end of 
a link list if the link list is empty and this is why I created the add back function first because this add back function can be used to add a node to an empty list and after you add a node to an empty list you can choose to add a node at the end of the list now to add a node at the end of a link list you have to reach the last node and then you can add a node at the end of the list and to reach the last node in the list you have to traverse the link list and traversal means visiting nodes of a link list starting from the first node one after the other in sequence so first I need to visit this node then visit this node and then I will reach this last node in this list now we need to traverse the link list because as I explained you in my very first tutorial on link list that link list doesn't allow random access we cannot access any node from in between the link list so I cannot directly access this node or I cannot directly access this node from the first node I need to visit the nodes of the link list one after the other in sequence until I reach the desired node now this while loop will traverse the link list here P is assigned the value of start and start always stores the address of the first node and if we don't know the address of the first node then we cannot access the link list because in a link list we cannot access any node directly from in between so first node is the only way now that's why we need to pass the value of start in this function call and start here will be initialized with the value of start that will be passed now initially p will store the value of start which is the address of the first node so p means first node now this while loop means as long as the value of p arrow operator link is not equal to null keep on executing this loop this is a not equal to comparison operator now p arrow operator link means link part of this node and link part of this node is not equal to null so this condition is true so this statement will get executed now according to this example p arrow operator link is 1009 so 1009 will be assigned to p and 1009 is the address of the next node so now p means the second node because now p is storing the address of the second node now again this while condition will be checked now p arrow operator link means link part of this node which is the second node and link part of this node is not equal to null it is 1005 so this while condition is true so this statement will get executed now p arrow operator link is 1005 so 1005 will be assigned to p and now p means third node because now p is storing the address of the third node now again this while condition will be checked and this time p arrow operator link means link part of this node and link part of this node is equal to null so this while condition becomes false so this while loop will be terminated and after the termination of this while loop these two statements will get executed I am continuing with this example now when this while loop got terminated at that time P was storing the address of the third node so P means third node because it's storing the address of the third node so we have reached the last node in this list and now we can add a node at the end of this list P link equals to temp and temp is the new node that was created and the address of this node is 1002 
Now the link part of this node should store the address of its next node. Now p arrow operator link means link part of this node and temp is 1002 which is the address of this node and 1002 will be assigned to p link so the link part of this node now stores the address of its next node now with the help of this statement the link part of this node will become null because temp arrow operator link means link part of this node and null will be assigned to it now the link part of the last node in the list should always be null and the node which is added at the end of the list always becomes the last node in the list so this is how nodes are added at the end of a link list and this function is now complete now I declared this function of type void because adding a node at the end of the list does not affect the value of start. The value of start will remain the same. So there is no point returning the value of start in this function. But in case of adding a node at the beginning of the list, we need to return the value of start because the value of start changes each time a new node node is added so we need to return the value so that the new value of start is updated in the main function now this function cannot be used to add a node to an empty list only add back function can be used to add a node to an empty list so if you want you can check if the link list is empty if start equals to null then it means link list list is empty and in that case this function cannot be used to add a node to an empty list will be displayed to the user now i am going to run this program and at this point link list is empty so if i choose three to add a node at the end then this function cannot be used to add a node to an empty list is displayed i have to enter two to add a node to an empty list and now I can choose 3 to add a node at the end of the list because now this linked list is not empty. Now if I choose to display then it should show 11 and then 19. I choose to add another node at the end of this list and now it should show 25 at the end of this list now add another node at the end of this list and now it should show 55 at the end of this list so this was a tutorial on how to add nodes at the end of a link list and in my next video I will show you how to delete nodes from a link list so that's all for now and thanks for watching.